Hey guys, this is Ellison Cruz, welcoming you back to Le Noir. Um, so, I hate to just throw this on you guys, but um, I'm actually recording this at a really weird interval, okay? So, you know I usually record stuff in advance. Well, right now, this is as uh, you know close to the present time as you're going to get, because I actually went ahead and bought the DLC for this game. I bought all of it. And one of the cases I miraculously just noticed happens right after the last mission, uh, Marriage Made in Heaven, and uh, is just timed so perfectly that, you know, I'm already ahead. I'm like four episodes ahead, actually, or no, not even, yeah, four episodes, which is like, I think two cases. But uh, anyway, this is a traffic case, and you'll notice in one of the later episodes I'll be referring to this video because... Um, the case after this will be a previous recording that I had already recorded, so it's kind of like this weird jump in time where <laughs> it's going to be a different kind, you know. But um, we're going to start doing one of the DLC missions, which is, uh, God, I already forgot what it's called, the Slip of the Tongue. And this is only accessible in uh, one of the cases, and we can just go and uh, do that right now. So, yeah, I haven't explained this to you guys yet. I, I will in a later video, but I, I went ahead and I bought all the, all the stuff and I got new costumes and new costumes, new outfits. And so here on the traffic desk, we'll actually be able to access it and play it here. And so, yeah, you haven't seen this one yet. I already recorded this one. You'll be seeing that one after a slip of the tongue. But um, we'll, we'll finish this one. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is actually probably one of the worst missions up to this point like i can't think of a mission i'd play i'd rather play less this is what gives this game a bad name because this is like 90 percent question and answer and then the other 10 percent is luckily a shootout but it's still quite boring and it's one of those exclusive dlcs where you could um if you lived in the united states or canada you'd be able if you pre-ordered it at walmart you'd be able to get this one but um, it only cost four bucks. But on the Rockstar Pass thing, it was it was basically halved. So, so yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So I apologize if it's gonna be boring. So, ooh, geez, got a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, you have to replay these quite a bit of times in order to uh, get all the possible outcomes. And you can obviously tell like my jump in time. So, um, all right, so let's just go ahead and do. Let's just do this. I'm gonna have to erase all of these later, but I'm gonna replace this one. All right, sounds good. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, and today is June 16th, and I think from the last video, it was like June 4th, when I last, when you guys last saw that other video, so, and then the next one, in the next case, you'll notice is probably like, some weird, like, June 12th or something, so I just want to let you guys know, so you guys aren't, aren't confused because of the different outfits and stuff, but, uh, this one I'll do both episodes in color, so I don't screw up my even, my even black and white, my odd uh, you know, oh, color, so. So this one I think should be black and white, but I'm just going to leave it simply because it's West DLC Street. also, but we see get Bukowski there, here, see and once we uh, change cases, on. once we go from traffic Sorry to homicide, we get a different you. partner, so. I wanted to do We're this right, instead of doing it when I recorded it, because this is actually in the timeline of the game where this would be so sorry i'm kind of breaking the fourth wall in terms of both the game my recording in real life so i swear the more um, bad cars we bring in the longer so the yeah now we're on traffic and we're gonna find some the rent, so we're not doing murders right now it's kind of weird in homicide we'll be doing murders and stuff like that but sure she'd agree with you so yeah Passionate like i said this is probably one of the weakest cases of this entire game but it's whatever it's dlc it's optional we don't care <laughs> so all right we're gonna head over here oh and let me just show off the outfits while we're here um so some of these you won't see in the next episode or in the next case. But uh, so we get the outsider. We get this one in the Fallen Idol. And this is just from ranking up. Uh, this is what we get for being in the Rockstar Social Club. And this actually, in this literally increases uh, our accuracy and power with the Thompson bar and shotgun, which is really good. It's kind of similar to Dead Rising 2. Uh, we had the, you know, the different outfits that helped us. Uh, be more powerful, stronger, stealthy, stuff like that. Here we already got Sword of Justice, Golden Boy, Sunset Strip, and now we got the Broderick. This one's pretty cool. The hit harder and take more punches before going down. I think this is like based off of a like an actual LAPD cop who is like a boxer or something. I have no idea. I just barely skimmed over it, but it's like something Broderick, so there's that. And then the Sharpshooter, which helps us shoot with the Grand and the Colt 45. And actually for this one... Um, for this episode, I'll just go ahead and go with Chicago Lightning. But in the next one, I think I'll probably just switch off into the other one. So here's this one. And I wear this in one of the other episodes, but it's in black and white. So we'll just ignore that. So we're going to go ahead and head off to the 
to talking and actually you going in the car over here. Can you drive to this one? So yeah. All right, enough about that. Sorry, I had to kind of like let you guys know what was going on. So they're calling her the Dahlia now. Yeah, we don't know much Veronica about the Dahlia yet. You guys will find that out soon. But what a case! What a case! You hear whether they're making any progress? So it's kind of weird that but they. Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all like, wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Brown and Green are sweating this. And it's kind of weird because all the characters, be like later on, your Cole Phelps becomes more renowned as a cop. He's like, oh, you're the guy who solved that one case. Like that. Well, we haven't solved any major cases quite yet. We're going to get into that in the homicide cases and later. But it's just weird because they they still act as if you had, even though technically. I mean, technically speaking, we have yet to actually do any of that, so it's just kind of weird. It's just like my uh, my save file is so far in advance that it's like that, but here are 6 West 2nd Street, which is really weird, and we're going to have to chase down some punk. So, we're just walking casually along, and uh-oh. So, this is a stolen car, apparently. So, we're going to chase it down, and of course, since it's stolen, we're just going to go ahead and win. <laughs> Totally destroy, and this is pretty easy, so we don't really have to worry too much about that. So we're just gonna go and pull this punk over by ramming into him. Yes, six West Second Street. Such a confused. God, it's like controlling is really weird. Now here is kind of where this. Oh, whoa! The, okay, never mind. A, a truck usually will come over here, and he'll like trap you in between the sidewalk and uh, his si the sidewalk and him, and you don't want to go on the sidewalk because you'll do city damage. Which is what I always have the unfortunate tenacity to end up doing. Which sucks because I, I, I try so hard not to, but then I end up getting screwed over. And he's not dead yet. Okay. I just don't want to, like, take any chances. And he's going to turn. Oh, 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 oh God. Yeah. Okay, there there's my damage. That's the only damage I'm ever going to. Okay, you know what, you guys? Be right back. Fraser, 6 West 2nd Street. Oh, here's that car. God, yeah, if you try and, like, follow him directly, he'll, like, squish you. But anyway, here we are Lane now back again. Here on. we are now. Oh, man. So this guy, he's not really that hard. I just forgot if he was going to go left or right because they always go the same direction. But I just completely spaced, and I thought for some reason he changed his mind and decided to go right Enough that games, time. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. So. There. We're good. Yeah. All right. Yes, we're going to bring this car back in mint condition. All right. Okay, can we? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Your head. <laughs> like we're just gonna ignore that guy. We totally Why bumped that car into. I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. You what pussy. You do? What's your name? I'm gonna what's run away in my car. You're under arrest. Oh. For what? What are you talking about? For sucking. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car. God, what a junior. So he's got. He's. Oh wait. So this car was on the hot list and stolen everything, but here he looks like it seems to be a legitimate receipt. Strange. Coombs Automotive. That is very strange. All right, you guys. Time to begin our barrage of questions for this episode, which I'm going to be so excited to edit. But anyway, vehicle report has stolen, so which it was, which is what you we saw in the very beginning cinematic, which I was talking over. Yeah, that's right. bit. <laughs> so there's that, and, you know, do we believe him? I guess we do. So. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Oh, really? Oh, 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 looks like he's got more more stuff to back it up. So we're going to see this pink slip quite a bit of time. But this is a forgery. It's top notch. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. <laughs> to $1.90. Oh, that totally broke my balls, man. We could turn it over. And there's nothing here, but... <clears throat> so whatever. And there won't be anything there for the other guy, but it'll be for the actual owner. So motive for flight. So why did you run away, you, you jerk? criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Oh, really? Well, you know what? This guy looks like one of those college punks who would, you know, have some weed in the dashboard or something. But we're going to doubt him because we have no evidence to call him a liar. I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. What is wacky backy? Is that like tobacco or something? Reefer? That's like weed or something. I don't know. I'm not like a drug person at all. I mean, God. Jeez, Who did whatever. you deal with? Care. At Coombs Automotive. I don't care. The owner, Richard Coombs. <laughs> Richard Coombs, you say? Owner of Coombs Automotive? Well, I don't know. There's no reason for us to doubt him, so let's just. And he made out the bill I almost sale, pressed two buttons again at the same time. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check oh. with him. Thanks, thanks, Ginger. Now get out of here. We're going to get to the bottom. We're gonna of put you in the slammer. Do, in the slammer, Bama. 
You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Are you I'm gotta be kidding me? Car? Okay. Everything is legit, Harrison. You'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Yeah, literally. Repel <laughs> their motions change. They're all using their right, hands. <laughs> He's like, oh my <laughs> god. I'm going to pee my pants. To okay. That's good. Yep, now we're going to head over to Coombs Auto to do, do you guess what? Ask more questions. Uh, this is actually kind of a going? weird thing, but anyway. Like a weird character. But we'll, we'll, we'll see in a little bit. What? So, I think he's telling the truth. Really? Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Yeah. Usually they're called politicians. Oh, that's funny. Get it? Because everyone rags on politicians for being liars. I see. If I became a politician, that would suck. But I wouldn't. I don't know. It's weird to say if I'd lie or not. Probably. Probably not. I don't know. It depends. I'm not usually a liar, but sometimes I do just without even knowing. Like I'll. I don't know. But anyway, there's Sir Richard Coombs, a.k.a. Dick Coombs. As you'll see in a future episode, I wondered what the, what the, what Dick was short Not for, which is Richard. I have got a so, century sedan which is really weird because I don't know how Richard becomes shortened to Dick. I mean, Robert, Bob, obviously kind of is stretching it. But anyway, uh, let's go talk Detective to him. Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? <coughs> That's right. Oh, God. Richard so how many Richards do we service. see in this game? Like a you bunch. You're looking to trade in a black and white boy? So this guy's kind of a <laughs> queer. We're investigating an auto I don't a mean that in a derogatory sense. I meant he's really car literally car well, stupid. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. You're hilarious. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. We are I so amused. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Yes, you, you remembered leftly, it's in rightly, my darkly. Walk this way. <laughs> Walk this way? God. God, see, look at that. Who does that? That's a joke, too, son. That's like such a stereotype of the 40s of no, people acting all goofy. This guy is getting on my yeah, Bukowski. My man, my man, Bukowski. Now, here is a bunch of cars, and we could actually... Uh, go into them and get them hey, if we hey, haven't hey, already done it so doing? so here i'm just gonna get like 10 or so because i'm actually really low and that's something else i kind of wanted to bring up i'm not gonna be showing all the cars in this let's play that's just one of those things that would be unnecessary that's one of the reasons why i don't really do open-ended games very much like um i haven't exactly like mentioned this i mean, i probably won't until you guys see one of the episodes in which i do next week or so but I'm not going to be doing No More Heroes as soon as I thought I'd be. I mean, I might be able to do it early, but it probably won't hey, be hey, until hey, July, if not August. Doing? So I'm going to have a different Let's Play number eight, or I might take a slight break because I've been, I, I don't know, I've been recording like hey, nonstop hey, hey, since like last year, I think since uh, September or something. It's been kind of a while. So um, it's just like, like that, you know, I might just take a small break since, hey, hey, hey. What you the know, hell are you doing? I haven't, I haven't like had a hiatus yet or anything, but I have a feeling that if I don't, that if I do stop, then I might not want to start up again. But I don't see why, because I really like Let's Playing. But anyway, now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and finally do this. Let's go talk to him, answer more questions. There it is. <sighs> Got the original pink slip there, too. So yeah, there's that. And it's just for some unforeseen measures that... You know, I won't be able to do more heroes because I don't. I'm not going to spoil anything. Actually, screw that. You guys will see it later. It'll be a nice surprise when you guys finally Harris's see it. But receipt was legit at least. yeah. So there's the receipt of uh, whatever his face was, the guy we just pulled over, and then we got the ginger. All right, so then we got this, and this is the exact same one, but Gene it's for Archer. Gene Archer, and this is actually who sold him the stolen car. We're going to turn it over on the back, and here we got this. Marquee Printing Co. Company Co. All right, now that that's done. We can go ask some questions. Great. Oh joy, oh joy. I love, I love questions, you guys. We have a couple of questions. It's good if they're in right, like fellas. moderation, but for Shoot. something as menial as traffic or not finding like a murderer or something, then it's just kind of, I don't know, redundant. But he does not look 46 to me. I don't know about you guys, but whatever. All right, let's go. Details of transaction. He looks like a. Uh, What's his face? The oh god, I can't remember his name. I just saw a trailer with him in it, but um, it's the it's the. Um, You're as thick as a whale sandwich, aren't you, son? Wow! Can you shoot him, please? Because he's never mind. I'll I'll, I'll flash up the name, but it's the, the dad on girl Arrested Development. Right I forgot. Uh, okay, so girl just wandering right off the street. I say you're telling the truth. He ain't got no reason to lie to us. 
Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Yeah, she sold it nice for like story, half. But about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. That doesn't make any sense. A sharp as Did a bag of wet mice? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. Ooh. What name? Sly. I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Well, good good for you. You remember that right off the top of your head. He kind of looks like that gun that we saw, or the the gun store man that we saw in one of the earlier episodes. I forgot which one, but... Gene Archer. That's the Burnett, one where he had to fa- kill, or I mean kill, 26. the Jew. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Not bone ugly. Well, how, are you, how could someone be bone ugly, but... Whatever, I'm probably just not even thinking. We're going to say truth. What was your impression of her? Uh, kind of hairy God, what kind harass. of a tie is he wearing? I don't think I'd ever wear a tie like that ever. Go. It, it always go. seems weird to see people wearing, you know, <laughs> ties with, like, pictures you on them. Like, about the company it's weird. The Cole the does it right. Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. So does he know anything about the printing business of the Marquee Printing Company? I don't know about you guys. There's no reason for him to, so we're going to say truth. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. It's like, how many people actually sure. know the name of the they printing the company? Like, you ask a teacher, where was Aliso this paper Street manufactured? And 95% of them probably won't even know. So we're going to have to investigate Marquee Printing. And now if we're checking payment details, we're going to want to hurry because the time check. is kind of going up. We've been recording for a bit more than 15 Friday. minutes. Damn. Okay, and then uh, this one for the payment details, we're just going to go and say, oh, you know what, you're crossing your arms pretty, uh, you're making a weird skeptical face, and I'm not sure if Sirius.jpg, so we're going to say doubt. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. <laughs> I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Really? Gives you a couple days to back out. Whoa, you slice son of a bitch. All right, so now for the suspicious transaction. This was all above board. Yes. Of course it was. <laughs> okay, that was just way too obvious, you guys. He's just he's like, I am so full of myself, you guys. Are gonna doubt you? Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? Like perhaps. I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Well, Jesus Christ! All right, so yeah, we got all five questions those. correct. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. So unfortunately, I didn't Go mention this yet, son. but we don't Boy's get experience for doing this ball. simply Built because uh, it's uh, replaying the case and there's no way we could go through Don't it in the story mode. Please. <laughs> you have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. So it just kind of sucks because you get, I think in this case alone, we have like 20 questions and it's fairly short too, so it's just kind of unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we're going to go do that really fast. And there's actually a couple things we have to do before we end off. We're pretty much done. Um, except we have to question one more person, go figure, but we're going to use the game well. And I think I mentioned this in a later episode, but these we can basically use as normal phones. So. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. One, two, four, seven. Cole Phelps, you don't know how to how count. Could I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer. <sighs> and my Xbox is making weird noises. I'll relay the information. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We don't want Message this to be super long, or maybe something will do, but a whatever. So, James Blasco. GTA Grand Theft Auto. Oh, oh, oh Rockstar, you. Thanks for your help. You and your in-game shameless advertising. Okay, now that that's done, uh, we're going to go drive over there. So, did, did our car just transform into the last one we were just in right now? Oh, God. This game sometimes is just really weird. So now we can go to F- North Fremont, Marquee Printing Company, our central police station. Now we don't have to go here until later, but what we're definitely going to want to do is go here first so that we get another clue. Now, I don't think this is necessarily required, but um, we're just going to do it anyway. So, all right, where are you? <laughs> Step over that all lightly. God. You're such a video game character, Bukowski. I like to think oh, of was that guy eating a hot dog? What evidence? <laughs> Guy's an asshole. Yes, he's an asshole. Pick he's a turd. And what are you doing? You don't know how to drive. So anyway, sorry if this is kind of boring and there's no like action or anything. We'll get into more action sequences later. It's just we're in a, we're still in traffic and uh Yeah, it's kinda weird. So North Fremont Avenue. Oh wait, there's no printing co- or there's nothing here. There's no address of anything. It's just a it's just an empty, empty. lot. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. It's like, it's off to your right, you jerks, you dumbasses. But anyway, now station, that's done. Um, now we have a new clue, which is a fake address. So that is pretty good. Now we're going to go you know ahead and way. go to the central police station and question that jerk. So where you want to go? 
So, okay. Getting out of the car was completely pointless, but... Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? Very good question, Bukowski. Today, <laughs> I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day. Yeah, car salesmen and suck. why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? <laughs> Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Yeah. Yeah, so take that with a grain of salt, you aspiring car salesmen out there. <laughs> don't be a car salesman. We don't want that one selling their cars to us because they suck at it or whatever. What, whatever, whatever, whatever. Load, 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 loading. So we're at the Central Police Station, 3.50 p.m. Come on, come on, come on. What do we got here? Velasco is prepped and ready in two. So wait, what do you mean by prepped and ready? So... So here we got another stolen car. Could this possibly be linked to what's her face? Perhaps, perhaps not. Actually, I don't know if I. Uh, you know what? Just to kind of ebb the flow of this episode, we're just gonna go ahead and do this in the next one, so that that next one's kind of long. Because after this interview, we're actually almost done. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next part, we're gonna go ahead and interview this um, this this you know hipster dude in there. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the DLC. Holy shit, that guy had a porn stash. Nice. Yeah, look at him. They're like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? Anchorman? Okay, so I'll talk to you guys in the next part. See ya.